In this hands-on demo, we are going to learn how to create EBS volumes in AWS. So now let's go to AWS console and click on services. And if you go to compute and click on EC2. And here on the left, let's click on instances. And here you can see I have one instance running. So if I click on this checkbox, you can see lots of details about this instance. So let's go to storage here. And here you can see there is a one volume and you can see the size, attachment status, which is attached and attachment type and lots of details. So in order to create a new volume, you can go to Elastic Block Store on here below you can see let's click on volumes and here you can see we can see only one volume right so if you click on create a volume you can see the create an amazon ebs volume to attach to any ec2 instance in the same availability zone so there is a volume type so let's click on that and you can see there are several options but by default it's a general purpose ssd gp2 so we are going to continue with that. The second one is the size of these volumes. So as an example, I'm going to continue with two. And you can see the next one is availability zone. So here you can see there are four availability zones. So for availability zones, I need to choose the same one where my instance is. So in order to make sure where your instance is running, you can go to here on dashboard and let's click on instances. I'm going to click on the right of the mouse and open this link in a new tab. So here you can see we have one instance running. So let's click on this checkbox. And if we go to networking and if I come to the below, you can see here is the availability zone and it's now running in app northeast 2c so i have to come back to the ebs section and here you can see we need to select app northeast c so in your case you have to also choose the same availability zone all right the next one is snapshot id so you can leave all the other configurations as a default and click on create volume and now as you can see we have two, two volume ids gp3 and gp2 the one is two gigabytes and the default is eight gigabytes and if you go to the on the right you can see the volume state it's now creating and if you go to the right you can also see the multi attachment and encryption and other several details so now let's go and click on this refresh refresh button here and now as you can see it's now available so in order to attach this ebs volume to our instance you can click on this checkbox and click on actions and here you can see there is a attach volume let's click on that and here you need to select your instance and here you can see i have my first instance running and simply click on attach volume and this will attach this volume to the instance as you can see it's showing the volume state is in use so now let's go to instances I'm going to refresh this console, this page, this instance page. And if I click on this checkbox again, and if I go to the storage, here you can see the volumes, two volumes. The one is the default and another one is the one that we have just created together. So if you go to the on the right, you can see the delete on termination. The one which is default is delete on termination, yes, because while we were creating EC2 instance, we configure it is as default and it's a default is by default it's yes but this one is no which means that if you delete your ec2 instance this the default volume will be terminated and this one that we have created will not be terminated so this is how you can create the ebs volumes in aws so 
And one thing you have to make sure that EBS volumes are indeed bound by specific availability zone. So for example, if you code, if you come to this elastic block store and click on volumes, and if you create a new volume, let's say in another availability zone. So I'm going to, for the size of this, I'm going to select, for example, let's say eight GB. And for availability zone, let's say we want to choose app nurses 2a which is not the same as my instance running it was in app nurses 2c so if we continue with app nurses 2a and if we click on this create volume and now as you can see it's now in creating mode state so let's refresh that and now as you can see it's available so if i click this volume on the left checkbox and if i go to actions and attach volume and if i click this instance as you can see it's showing me no matching running or stop at instance because as i said ebs volumes are indeed bound by specific availability zones so you cannot attach them so let's cancel that and delete this volume actions and delete volume So that's all about it for this video. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next videos.